Morning traders, and this is your DAX day trade setup for today. So we are still trading inside this range. I've uh, blocked it out for you. And I'll give you the levels just now, but that's pretty much uh, what we're trading in. And uh, until we break through, either to the downside or to the upside, I think you know this is going to continue. Now look at my oscillators in the daily. I have got a crossover the stochastics, and we're pointing to the upside. I've got a close above the negative twenty here, so. Any break above this range, and that is going to set into motion a fairly decent long trade with a target pretty much right over there. Okay, so let's just get rid of this and this. And let's just get these levels, so we've got them. Okay, level to the downside that we, I'm not expecting to break, but we need to pay attention to that. Pretty much our stop area is 11.547, and we're looking for a break of 11.851. If we get a break above that, and a close above it, we're looking at 12.190 as the target to the upside. Okay. So with that in mind, you can see here on the three hour how the trend is fairly strong. What I do want to do there is one, two, three, four touches and we are above it. Okay, so in other words, it is looking like we should get some kind of a pullback. I would expect a shallow pullback and I'm going to add another line here to make it really messy. That's the most logical area for the pullback, which is 11,248 before making another attempt at this high. Okay, until this level goes, this thing is range bound. Okay, doesn't matter about this candle, that is news. So it is range bound until that level goes. So this level. 11851, we need to get sort of a, a close above it, and there is a gap above here as well. You can see quite a few gaps all the way up. Okay, so you just look at what happened yesterday. You can see the trend continued down, 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 and all of a sudden we've got news out and we ready. But look at the indecision here. So it's one, two, three, four, six hours of indecision with the tails to the upside, tails to the downside. Oscillators grouped, diversions on the moving averages. I'm very reluctant to be long here. I want to see a pullback. The trend has broken. Okay, so I'm looking for a pullback. Now, that is a level for a pullback there. Or alternatively, so 11,748 is one area. 11,723 is another area, and 11, what is that, 11, 6, 11, 6, 78 is another area. Okay, so I'm not anticipating us, anticipating us to break through this level just yet. I suspect we need to come back, create a higher low, and that's going to be the opportunity to get in for the trade to the upside with anticipation of breaking 11851. If that happens, then we can start scaling in all the way up to 128190. So there is something brewing on this and it's worthwhile watching. Only issue is it's been four, six, eight days in this range. Okay. So anyway, that is my view on the DAX for today. Uh, I am expecting some kind of a consolidation or a bit of a pullback so that we can get in for the trade to the upside. I'm fairly reluctant to be in at this level where we are now. And if I look at the market right now, DAX futures is down half a percent, 11.744. And that is... 11,744, not too bad, pretty much uh, just around this area here. 
the, what you could find is that we just form a range here. Oscillators start grouping the downside and then we'll be able to look for a break of the mini range. Okay, then anyway, guys, that's my view at the moment. I am anticipating this range to break the upside purely because we have a fairly strong trend line here that has broken. Okay, so there it was. One, two, three, four attempts and then five through and now we sort of through the range and we've got moving averages pointing up at the moment so I do expect a bit of a pullback and opportunity to get long and then I'm looking for pretty much a gap close, gap close and then the range target which lines up quite nicely in between the 4 hour 200 moving averages and I think on the daily if you probably find that this is a Fibonacci level anyway. Yeah, 61.8 Fibonacci level. Okay. Here we go. That's it for me. Hope that helps. And uh, I'll catch you later. Cheers for now.